uh, Ferrania magazine uh, is not uh, only a mere uh, house organ, like other house organ of uh, other uh, factory in Italy in the post-war period. Uh, it's a, I think it's the first uh, um, visual culture magazine uh, in Europe, not only in Italy, and. Um, Inside, you can find the reader can find um, some articles about photography or some uh, very particular um, photo photos of uh, uh, cinema uh, of actress of um, uh, film sets, and uh, uh, you can find uh, a very um, complicated debate uh, about criticism. And I think this is because uh, the readers of the um, magazine is not um, only the uh, people that work in the factory uh, but you can uh, um, buy this um, magazine in uh, a newsstand uh, and uh, every, every, everybody can buy that in newsstand. Well, the role of women in cultural industry, in film industry, and in film criticism is a very difficult object. Uh, uh, and it's made even more difficult by the fact that uh, the contribution of female professionals um, do not emerge from the um, official uh, level. I mean, it emerges very uh, rarely. Uh, from the level of uh, mm, uh, publications of journals uh, and of uh, uh, books about uh, film studies and film criticism. Uh, we uh, know, for example, that um, uh, female intellectuals that used to work as translators, for example, in this case of Paola Oietti, of Giulia Veronesi, and so on, uh, before the war, hmm? uh, so people belonging very often to uh, bourgeois, upper class uh, milieu, uh, participated very actively in the development of film culture in, uh, in this country. Uh, Paolo Ietti, for example, was the secretary of uh, the most important journal <coughs> before World War II uh, film. And we know, for example, that uh, Teresa Aristarco, Teresa Piccoli Aristarco, wife of Guido Aristarco, had a pivotal role in managing the work personal relationships in which Guido was involved as he served as a main critic, the most important critic in Italy in the 1950s, 1960s. Yet it's very hard to reconstruct their contribution, it's very hard to reconstruct why these figures, why these female professionals were uh, thus important unless you do not uh, scrutinize very attentively uh, private conversations, private materials uh, such, as, uh, uh, such as letters. Um, the Italian panorama from this point of view is very different from the, for example, the British one that has been studied uh, by a colleague like Melanie Bell uh, in which instead uh, there, was, there were other patterns of professionalization already in the 1940s and 1950s. Here uh, the female contribution very often had to be uh, concealed uh, by different uh, tactics. Statement, for example, the fact that uh, these contributors, which I repeat, were very often pivotal in made uh, these uh, editorial enterprises uh, uh, work, uh, were quite simply under um, underrated as a secretary, secretaries, as uh, side collaborators of the uh, of the enterprises, which was not often, which was not always. Uh, uh, the uh, the case.